taking a blowgun out for a stroll today. What's up guys? It's Fugles with Fugles Outdoors. And I have discovered a new trail and I am interested in seeing where it takes me. It's called Backbone Falls. It's right here beside the uh, Backbone Rock, which is the ledge that goes over in a previous video. I'll leave a link to that in the description below, but I don't know where this trail leads or how long it is or anything, but it's, it's nothing but stairs and uphill it seems like. So we're gonna take a blowgun out and have some fun today. I'm gonna shoot that up here and hopefully see some beautiful scenery. There is a sign that reads caution, something other about steep ledges and, and sheer drop offs and uneven footing. So we'll be careful. I suppose that's what they talk about when they're talking about sheer drop offs. Maybe that's the road down there. They do have some uh, repel hooks up here, which is cool. So you can go repelling up here. But the unfortunate side is, there's too much brush on the way down. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to repel from here. There's a better spot on the other side. So there's nothing in season right now that I can actually hunt with my blowgun. Um, squirrels and rabbits and stuff, they're gonna have warbles on them. So I, I really don't wanna hunt those for that reason. And uh, I wouldn't be able to process or eat anything that I hunted today. So today's just a target practice day really for the blowgun. But this is pretty cool. And this is something I like about being around these creeks and the mountain, uh, mountain creeks to be specific, is that there's always little overhangs and rocks and stuff and little shelters you can get in. The survival aspect of me always looks for little things like this. And I think it's really incredible that uh, nature provides so much shelter for us. And given a survival situation, I mean, we're right here on the trail, so this wouldn't really work, but because I could just get off here. However, in a situation, if I were to find something like this, that would save me a ton of calories. That would be uh, an excellent thing for me. You a great heat wall in here, too. Just always uh, be on the lookout for little natural shelters and stuff on your day hikes. Because if the weather turns bad really quick, you might need to seek shelter in this, even if the trail is right beside you. Maybe you're too far in to make it out safely. This could save your life. This uh, trail is kind of disappointing if I think it's what it is. I mean, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but <clears throat> maybe it's just where it's not rained a whole lot. But this behind me here is the waterfall as far as I know. There's no other streams that come through here, and we're going back downhill. So the trail itself isn't even a mile long. It's just a bunch of climbing and just to see a, a little waterfall. But, I mean, it's still beautiful, and I'm going to go down there and check it out, definitely. You can kind of see behind me here. Let's see if I can hit that from about uh, farthest I think I'm going to get from that. It's about 20 feet away. Let's see what we can do. So if I'm ever out here and I want to practice my skills a little bit better, one of the things I like to hunt with my blowgun is snakes. Now, I'm not one that likes to kill snakes averagely, but if I want a good tasty dinner and I'm out here camping and I see a rattlesnake, there's a good chance I'm going to shoot it, kill it, and eat it. Um, because rattlesnake's very tasty. Now, if I see a black snake, it's a different story. I don't really kill those. Copperheads, I don't eat those. They're very bitter. But it is nice to know that you can shoot a snake if you had to. You want to know the best way to learn how to do that? Find a tree root on the ground, stand back, and shoot that root. Here's how. The cool part about shooting uh, roots like that also, you don't really have to be too far away because you can sneak up on snakes. You have to remain conscious of the fact that if you're practicing to shoot snakes, Remember the distance you can get to it. 
you're practicing to shoot deer, get a minimum distance of about 20 yards. Move yourself up. If you're shooting rabbits, I can get about 10 to 15 feet away from a rabbit in good brush. In an open field, however, I may not be able to get that close. So you want to be able to get your distances down for what you're shooting at and make sure your muscle memory is the same. If I have my muscle memory set at shooting a uh, 20 inch target at like 20 yards away, well then I know I'm going to have that right. If you want to practice shooting at squirrels, it's a good idea to take a uh, target that's like 3 inches to 2 inches, that's a circle, put it on the wood here on a tree and shoot at trees. Honestly because that's the size of a squirrel head. It's really just getting the size of your target down. Pretty simple math really. Let's take a couple shots of this tree from a distance. Got a clear Robin Hood on this one. Went all the way through, pops the cap off, and kind of sucks because then it messes your cone up and you gotta buy more darts. But at least you know your accuracy is good and that's what really matters. The waterfall wasn't that impressive. And I think I'm gonna walk back down now. Let's see if we can find anything else to shoot at. This is another good target to shoot at when you're on trails walking around. I'll show you here. Trail markers are an awesome thing to shoot at. Uh, they're already on the tree, you don't have to put a leaf on there, you can see it. Just don't shoot at the ones that's kind of worn down already and ready to fall off. If they're fresh though, and a few dull holes in it won't hurt it, go for it. Cool thing about blowguns are, when you shoot these things, you're not really damaging the trees. Uh, it doesn't shoot far enough into the tree to really damage it. And I'm an avid practicer of leave no trace, so I don't want to shoot these and like leave a bunch of holes in the tree or anything. But one or two shots here and there, you'll never even know I was here. Give you an idea of how this thing shoots at least. I'm about to the vehicle, but before I close out, I do want to create a blowgun. Um, I've made some makeshift ones before out of PVC, but I want to take a bushcraft survival challenge, come out here, maybe with just a knife, some rope, and uh, and make my own blowgun. Now, I mean, there's a few ways I could do that. I think my safest way would be to take some river cane or cattail, hollow it out nice and clean, or even bamboo, and just make sure it's nice and hollow. Split it, of course. You would split it very evenly down the center. And then you would take some pine tar. Burn it down. Make some tar out of it. You would seal it off with it. Make sure it's nice and closed. You take some rope. Tighten it up. And make sure your barrel is just nice and clean. And uh, maybe even sand it out. So, be a cool little challenge. We might do that here in the future. Alright guys. I hope you all enjoyed my blowgun antics today. I had fun shooting this thing around a little bit and uh, getting some practice in and some hiking in. It's always a great day when you're out here in the outdoors and that's why you should check out my channel because I have tons of outdoor videos on here where I shoot my blowgun, I go hunting and, and uh, take down some pretty cool stuff. I also have kayaking, fishing and all the other sorts on here. Nothing but outdoors here in Woogles Outdoors. Check it out, like, subscribe and comment. Peace out guys.